<laughs> little practice. Let's see how you do with the practice, okay? Okay, so you need to tell me, and we're going to go through them all, and then we'll go through the answers in the next slide, okay? But first, um, British or American? What do you think? Or both? My father's just gotten a big promotion at work. Okay, Sergei says America. American. Anyone else? American. Okay. This is British. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. He's just gone home. I'm not giving you answers till the next one, okay? He's just gone home. What do you think? American English or British English? Give you a minute to respond. British, British, okay. British, more British for that one, okay. Let's go to the next one. Have you got the time? What do you think, American or British? British, British. <laughs> okay. You guys are good. Okay. Ow! I cut my finger. So British, British. American, American, American. Okay. Have you finished already? Have you finished already? British, American, British. And the last one, I have a headache. What do you think? I have a headache. British, American. Both. Linus is both. Both. American. Okay, let's check. Let's check. Oh, you did. My father's gotten a big promotion. So because of the gotten, it's American English, right? Because of the gotten. You won't hear that in, in the UK, in Great Britain. He's just gone home. So in this sense, it, that's the preference for British. Because someone said, be, OK, there's a question. Maria, what's your question? You have a question about this one? He's just, oh, gotten. Remember, um, uh, in American English, the, the past participle for get is gotten. And it, I, it may sound, if you haven't learned it, it probably sounds strange. Um, so in, in American English, we would say, my father's just gotten a big promotion at work. In British English, how would we say it? Instead of gotten, what word would we use? Anybody? What word would we use instead of good? So in British English, they would say, my father's just got good, a big promotion at work. Perfect, yep. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the difference. And it, it's in, my father has just gotten. It's in present perfect because we can use it both in English, American English and British English. We use both, even though we tend to use the, the simple past more often. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Have you got the time? Again, that's British instead of gotten. So in American English, we'd say, have you got, well, you gotten the time. That would sound very strange. We <laughs> probably would say, do you have the time instead of have you gotten the time. Okay. Yeah, it's OK. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Have you gotten the time? That doesn't sound correct. We would say, do you have the time? Do you have the time? OK, I cut my finger. So that's American. How would you say it if you were in Britain? Instead of I cut, you would say, good, good. I have cut, I've cut my finger. Because it's still, yeah, it's still true. It's affecting you right now. You cut it, and it's still, you're feeling it. Good. 
Okay, and have you finished already is British English. I think you all got that one. And then 